Welcome all you rebels, all, all of you that are ready for this top secret lesson on how to find surface area of prisms. Now, I have a formula for you to use that works for all prisms. I don't care if it's a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, pentagonal prism, it doesn't matter. Um, this formula will work for all prisms. But just as a review, when finding the surface area of a prism, you can set up a net. You can create a net and show all of the faces and then find each of their areas and add them together. That's fine. In fact, if I look at this rectangular prism, I know some of the faces are the same. So I can start by looking at the top and the bottom. I'll shade in the top here. I'll shade it in red. It's pretty messy. Um, but the top is 15 inches long and seven inches wide, and so is the bottom down here. 15 inches by seven inches. So there's my top and my bottom. I'll just not worry about being messy. All right, so I'm gonna put top and bottom. And in this case, that's 15 by seven, which is 105, if you multiply those together. Now, since the top and bottom are the same, I can then multiply that by 2 to get their areas combined. So 105 times 2 is 210. Okay. Now, let's switch colors here. I'm going to switch to um, maybe, well, I don't want to use blue. I'll use yellow. This No, I'll use orange. Okay. So let's look at the uh, left and the right sides. Here's the right side here. I'll, I'll just shade it orange. We have the left side over here, which is identical to it. I'll shade that in also. And those are 10 by 7, 10 inches by 7 inches. Well, 10 times 7 is 70. And since both the left and right are the same, we can double that to get the two combined. And that would be 140. And then I need to switch colors one more time, and um, I think I think this time I'll go with a maybe I'll go with green here, this little lime green color. All right. So we have the front and the back are the only two sides that we haven't um, found yet. The front here is 15 inches. Here I'll trace it. This is 15 inches by 10 inches. Its height is 10 inches. Okay, so I'll shade this in here so you can see the front here. I'll do this so it shows up a little bit clearer for you. That's 15 by 10. Multiply that, you get 150. That's the area of the front face. The back is identical, so I can double that. I can multiply by 2, and I get 300. Okay, so now if we combine all of these, that should give us our total surface area and i know what you're thinking i mr white i thought this was supposed to be a top secret this is exactly what was shown in the other video true i'm getting there i'll show you if we combine all of these to get a total surface area i'll just abbreviate that sa the total surface area you add these together and you get 650 square inches okay so um, the 650 square inches, that wasn't too difficult. We just had to organize the uh, different faces, find all six faces, and some of them were the same. So we were able to do some doubling up. Now, what about this formula? Well, let's take a look. Uh, we have a formula that looks like this. S, that stands for surface area, equals pH plus 2, big B. So what... What do these all, all these variables, what do they stand for? S stands for surface area. P for perimeter. That's perimeter of the base, by the way. H stands for the height of the prism. That's the distance between its bases. And big B stands for the area of the base. So look at this example right here. We have a triangular prism this time because you see how we have a a base here that's a triangle. Remember, base does not mean bottom. Base does not mean bottom. The base in a prism, um, the bases are always um, parallel to each other. And we have a triangle here. We have another triangle here that runs parallel to it. 
they happen to be the only faces in this figure that that are parallel to each other those are your bases okay so what is the perimeter of the base in this prism well perimeter is the distance around something so we have 5 plus 12 plus 13 all right so 5 plus 12 plus 13 is 30 centimeters but we won't worry about the label right now so the perimeter of the base is 30. now what is the height of this prism the height of the prism doesn't always mean up down so don't be reckless and put five down the height is the distance between the bases we have a base here we have a base here it's the sides that are triangles and the distance between them is 15 centimeters so the height of this prism is 15. And then the area of the base, well, again, the base is a triangle. So to find its area, we take one half times base times height. Notice there's a base for this triangle, which is different than the entire base of the prism. Okay, so we have one half times 12 times 5. Half times 12 is 6, and then 6 times 5 is 30. So the area of the base of this prism is 30. Now, if you substitute all these values in for P, this is your perimeter of the base, H, that's your height, and big B, that's the area of the base, you can substitute them in to find the surface area of this prism. It's P, that's 30, times H, that's 15, plus 2 times the big B area of the base, which was 30. And then you can solve, and you can use a calculator. 30 times 15 is 450, plus 2 times 30 is 60. So we end up with 510 square centimeters for our surface area for this prism okay you might be thinking well golly gee i think making a net might have been easier for me on this well you can always make a net and find the area of all of the five of the faces and add them together that's up to you but i think the more you practice this the more you're going to realize Ooh, oh this is pretty easy so let's try this rectangular prism here um, and what's nice is we already did this rectangular prism um, by going top and bottom, front and back, left and right, and combining them. But this time we're going to use the formula. Since it's a rectangular prism, all of the faces are rectangles. So if you want to call the bottom your base, you can do that. So let's call the bottom the base here. And I'll shade that in. Okay, we'll call the bottom the base. So let's find our P, our H, and our big B. Once we find these, we can substitute those values in to this formula. Let's start with the easy one. What is the height of this prism? Well, the base is on the bottom here. So the height is this 10 inch measurement here. Now the big B, the area of the base would be 15 times seven. Okay, because it is a rectangle, so you just take length times width. And 15 times 7 is 105. All that's left is to find P, the perimeter of the base, and that's the distance around the base. We have 15 plus 7. But that only gets us halfway around. You then need to double that because you have another 15 and another 7 here. Okay, so once you have 15 plus 7, you're going to double that. So that's 22 times 2, which is 44. You can just add 15 plus 7 is 22, plus 15 is 37, plus 7 is 44. You can do that too. And now we just plug these values in here to find our surface area. Surface area equals P, that's 44. times h, which is 10, plus 2, 
times big B, which is 105, the area of the base. And so 44 times 10 is 440. And 2 times 105 is 210. When you add these together, you get 650 square inches. Remember when we did this problem before, earlier in this lesson? Let's see if we got the same answer. 650 square inches. What? It's the same either way. Okay, so those of you that prefer using formulas, this is a nice way to find surface area of prisms by using this formula. Okay, we'll do one more very quickly and then we'll be done. Let's find the surface area of this prism. S equals pH plus 2 big B. So I need to find out what P is, what H is, and what the area of the base big B is. Start with the easy one. The height of the prism, right there, 18 centimeters. Perimeter of the base, you're going to see how quick this is. We have um, twice the length, 25 plus 25 is 50. Twice the width, 12 and 12 is 24. 50 plus 24 is 74. You could also take 25 plus 12 is 37 and then double it. That's 74, the perimeter. And then the area of the base is 25 times 12. 25 times 12, which is, um, well, 300 then, right? Armed with this information, we can go ahead and substitute these values in to our formula. Surface area equals perimeter of the base, 74, times the height, which is 18, plus 2 times big B, the area of the base, which is 300. All right. I'm going to use my calculator now to take 74 and multiply that by 18. So 74 times 18 equals 1332. Come on now. 1,332 plus, and then 2 times 300 is 600. And when you add these together, you get 1,932 square centimeters. If you want, you can go ahead and separate this into a net and see if you get the same answer, and you should. Um, but I really do like this method of using a formula to find the surface area of prisms because then you just have to find these different parts, the perimeter of the base, the area of the base, and then the height of the entire prism and substitute those values in. So there you go. There's your top secret lesson for today on how to find the surface area of a prism using a formula. All right. Have a nice day, everybody.